Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here's an update, and it's an exciting update with the earthquake swarm that's been occurring for the last three days there at Lake Tahoe. Yeah, I'm going to say that magma is coming into the system. The Los Angeles Times reported that magma moving deep below Lake Tahoe apparently triggered an unprecedented swarm of 1,600 tiny earthquakes. But at that time, none of them were larger than a magnitude 2.2. We have had, in this last three days of swarm, the largest being a magnitude 3.7. According to USGS, there's been six with a magnitude 2.5 or greater. We got a 3.2, a 2.5, 2.5, 2.9, 2.8, and a 3.7. They had 1,600 tiny earthquakes during a seven-month period there. The migration of the molten rock material 20 miles beneath the surface of the Sierra Nevada also likely caused the mountain beneath Mount Rose Ski Resort southwest of Reno to rise about three-eighths of an inch. I have been deeply looking into these earthquakes, and like I said before in my first video, magma is coming up from deep within the earth. Harmonic tremors are occurring. Now, Mount Rose is over here. That would indicate that the magma field, or the magma chamber underneath where Lake Tahoe is, is very large to cause an uplift over there on Mount Rose. Another fact you will find very interesting is the Juan de Fuca Fault that is subsiding underneath North America. This is the area where the southern edge of the Juan de Fuca Fault is at. Let me bring this out. Here we got Lake Tahoe. And over here is the Juan de Fuca Fault Zone. And it's subsiding underneath North America. And it's going, the southern edge is all the way over here. And when you have subduction, you got magma coming up. There's one of the more recent earthquakes that occurred today. Here's some more information about the Juan de Fuca slab. It says the southern edge of the subducting Juan de Fuca slab reached the latitude of Lake Tahoe um, 6 million years ago and is now stalled just north of the lake and it gives the latitude. The Gorda Plate, a fragment of the Gorda Plate is being dragged southward into the slab window, as we show in the following sections. Uh, volcanism in the Tahoe Reno region closely resembles model south cascade volcanism in terms of geology and petrology, etc. Here's a signature from one of the earthquakes today. Yeah, we got harmonic and volcanic tremors. Magma is coming up. Here on ResearchGate, there is a image, a paper, showing, let me show you here. Here you can see it says, the map and position of the southern edge of the Gorda Juan de Fuca plates. And this is from 1998, and like I said, um, right there is Lake Tahoe. Yeah. On USGS, there is another paper briefly talking about it. Lake Tahoe area is not currently considered to be a volcanically active. It must have had an eruption in the last 10,000 years. Um, and it talks about this criteria of lava flows. Now, they make it sound like Lake Tahoe was formed because of the uplift of the mountains. One side is rising up. Um, and the other side is falling down, but it actually wasn't formed. It was formed because of lava flows that blocked off the Truckee River. And then today I found this area right here. This was probably an area, Lake Forest Tuff, an area of um, hydrothermal eruption. Another thing you might look for, those of you that live there at Lake Tahoe, as gruesome as it may sound, is bodies being found there rising up from the deep 
cold depth of Lake Tahoe and being discovered there at the lake. There is hundreds of bodies there at Lake, da at lake Tahoe and because of the cold water they have not decomposed and then thus produce the gas which rise, brings the bodies back up to the surface. These bodies are perfectly preserved with their clothing, shoes, etc. But if the lake does start to warm up because of magma rising up closer to the surface, these bodies will heat and then they'll start producing gases and their bodies would pop up to, to the surface. Another gruesome detail I found out about these bodies is back when the railroad was being built and Chinese laborers were brought in. Instead of paying them, they would tie them all together and throw their bodies into Lake Tahoe. Evidently, hundreds of Chinese workers back in the uh, late 1800s yeah, were brought in and they were supposed to be paid, and when it came time to pay them, they didn't pay them. They just tied them all up and dumped, dumped them alive into the lake. Jacques Gusteau um, had a submersible submarine, and he discovered all these bodies down there, or some of the bodies down there at the bottom of the lake. But he said he was not going to publicize the fact that they found these bodies down there because America was not ready uh, to know the truth of our history. Drawn out in yellow is a lot of the cinder cones that I found from past eruptions. There's a lot up here by Bald Mountain. There was lava bombs, um, pyroclastic flows in the past. At least seven lava flows that closed off uh, the Truckee River and formed what we have now, um, you know, the shape of, of the lake. Here is an image of many of the lava flows. I'll bring this down so you can read it. We've got volcanic rocks. We've got sedimentary rocks, which is yellow. Uh, volcanic rocks, the lava flows. And I'll bring it down some more. Here's a paper about that lake forest tough ring, that hydrothermal eruption. Thus, the Lake Forest Tough Ring was the product of a shoreline eruption and did not form from lava flowing downslope into the water. What they do know, if they have more lava flows um, blocking off the river again, um, it would ra raise the level of the lake and, yeah, uh, many of these areas would be all flooded out that are now developed you know, into housing and homes and things like that. I think if there was another volcanic eruption with maybe just um, slow-moving um, lava flows, um, that would probably be the least of your worries about the rising level of the lake. Here it talks about such an event happening. The findings may be relevant to assessing future volcanic hazards around the now heavily populated lake shore. The timing of this repetitive volcanic activity raises implications for future volcanic eruptions and their hazards. The lake could be dammed by lava again, causing extensive shoreline flooding as the level rose, or rapid dam failure could cause extensive downstream flooding along the Truckee River on its path to Reno. And another paper from ResearchGate about the aspects of the swarm that happened in 2014. Displacements are consistent with lower crustal magma injection under Lake Tahoe. And another paper about the threat of volcanic eruption for Lake Tahoe. You know how I've talked about the crack at the bottom of Yellowstone Lake and the dike intrusion that's trying to come up of rhyolite. Well, evidently, they have the same thing happening there at Lake Tahoe. Yeah, uh, Lake Tahoe sequence is most likely in response to rock failure due to high strain rate, typical of dike injection. Propagating dike 
is reflected by the temporal progression of earthquake depth, whereas the high-frequency character of the events require brittle failure of rocks at the crack tip. I'm going to show you something. I've been mapping out many of these earthquakes, and I noticed, let me pull this down over here, we got a line, it looks like a crack. See that? This is a 1.9, 1.2, 19.3 kilometers in depth. This is the depth that that uh, last earthquake swarm came up from that caused the uplift of Mount Rose. Here we have a 2.4. That was only 6 kilometers in depth. So that would be about 3 miles in depth. Now remember, all earthquakes are measured at sea level. And Tahoe is much higher its elevation is about 6,000 feet, so you got to add, so you'd have to add about a mile and a half to the actual depth. So actually, this earthquake was probably about five and a half miles down. There was three earthquakes, maybe four. Let me see. We got 3.7, a 3.2, a 3.8. And another 3.2 earthquake. That one was on the 26th. And it too was uh, six and a half kilometers deep. So that would be uh, about four and a half miles down. Add in the elevation. Um, so maybe almost six miles deep. And see the focal mechanism ball shows spreading the first wave of the earthquake many of these earthquakes that i could even get focal mechanism balls show the earthquake occurred straight up yeah and we got spreading the fault line on this one uh, moved going from north to south this 2.8 had a focal mechanism ball same thing we got some some spreading the fault line moved going from south to north which makes sense if the uh, main uplift of the magma pushing up on the chamber is in this location. The fault line would rupture coming from here, going north, and from here, going south. But there is no focal mechanism ball in this location. I do have one here on the left. That was a magnitude 3.7. And that one was about four and a half miles deep. The fault line moved going basically from south to north. Yeah, we got spreading here. Yeah, the tension was applied going west. First wave of the earthquake was pretty much straight up a little south. Here's the focal mechanism ball for the magnitude 3.8. Same thing, almost straight up. The fault line moved uh, coming from the south and moved towards the north. And see how we got this spreading here? Yeah, the first initial was basically straight up. Tension was applied uh, going west. I would say for right now, the biggest threat for Lake Tahoe would be a hydrothermal eruption. That could cause a tsunami. Um, yeah, anyone out there in a boat would have the shock of their life. Shoreline people, because of a tsunami, um, yeah, would uh, wonder what the heck is going on because the media is not covering this threat. So that's all I have for you right now. Um, yeah, are you prepared for a large earthquake? You think that you need to prepare for lava flows, pyroclastic flows, and eruption? I don't think that will happen right away I, I said you'd probably have hydrothermal eruptions volcanic small maybe some small volcanic lava flows earthquakes earthquakes would probably increase but seeing how the majority of these earthquakes there's been some littler ones here um, have been in the center of the lake i would worry more about hydrothermal explosions and creating a tsunami so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you for watching please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.